In the historical leap of the great power's ascent, China, which has gone from being a learner to a leader, strides into the world arena on its own means and is headed for revival with the huge China's power. The following 10 super projects, each of which has astounded the rest of the world, are evidence that China is working hard to learn and develop independently in all fields, from technology to agriculture. Hello, and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now let's get started. Number 10. China Aerospace Industry Tian Chao One Cargo Spacecraft Chen Chao One was given instructions to depart its orbit on September 22, 2017, at approximately 6 o'clock in the evening, after it had finished the responsibilities associated with its laboratory phase in space and followed its developed experiments. The Tianzhou One is the first Chinese developed spacecraft specifically designed to transport goods. During the mission, Tianzhou One validated a series of crucial technologies, including the replenishment of the space station, propellant supplementation in orbit, and automated docking. As a result, China's manned space program has stepped into the space age. Number 9. China's Communication Industry Quantum Science Experimental Satellite MOSI on June 16, 2017, China's quantum satellite MOSI successfully achieved quantum entanglement at a distance of the magnitude of a megameter for the first time. This marked a significant advancement toward the implementation of quantum communication and was a milestone in the race to commercialize the technology. On August 16, 2016, China successfully launched the MOSI satellite, which is the world's first quantum scientific experimental satellite and was created independently by China. Quantum communication is the only known secure means of communication that can neither be eavesdropped on nor interpreted, allowing for information to be transmitted without risk of compromise. Bidu Navigation Satellite System is China's homemade and independently controlled system, which enables China to become the third country in the world to boast its own satellite navigation system. The Bidu Global System is expected to be finished and ready to provide services to the entire planet around the year 2020. Number 8. China's Bridge Hong Kong's Zhuhai Macau Bridge the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is a sea bridge in China that connects Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau by creating a super channel between the three cities. The entire length of the bridge is 55 kilometers, earning it the nickname Mount Everest in the world of bridges. Additionally, it now holds the record for having the longest span, the longest seal structure of a bridge, and the longest subterranean tunnel in the world. Satellite City Satellite City, or to be more specific, Nanhui, can be found in the Pudong district of Shanghai, which is scheduled to be finished by the year 2020. Over the course of more than a decade of construction, the city will ultimately consist of residential complexes, office buildings, a plaza, a museum, and eight campuses of various universities. At a cost of $4.5 billion, the city will be planned by German architects Jerkin and Marg, together with other collaborators, and will have a population of 800,000. Number 7. Macau New Urban Zone The Macau New Urban Zone, located in Macau, is a 2.8-square-mile land reclamation project. Land was lost to the Praia Grande Bay earlier. The expansion of the city by 12% will take place once the project is finished, which is scheduled for completion by the end of 2017. Beginning in 2018, the land in question will be used only for the development of green areas and public housing developments. The location will be subdivided into five zones, such as Zone A, which will feature housing for 57,000 people, Zone B, which will contain offices, stores, and 2,000 dwelling units, and Zone C and D, which will contain 22,000 housing units, green spaces, and additional retail. The redevelopment project known as Chiangin New Area was first made public in April 2017, and it is located in the province of Hebei. Number 6. Yujiapu Financial District 
Yujiapu Financial District, also called China's New Manhattan, with skyscrapers inspired by Lincoln Center and Rockefeller Center, has cost billions of dollars to the Chinese government. The work on the project began in 2008 and covered an area of 1.5 square miles at an estimated cost of $30.4 billion. The neighborhood, which is situated just outside of Tianjin, is scheduled to be finished by 2019, and it will include 47 new residential and office complexes. Experts believe that this city, which is only partially constructed, should also be included on the list of phantom cities. Number 5. The World's Largest Nitrile Rubber Facility Lanshu Petrochemical Company's 50,000-ton rubber facility, currently the world's largest 50,000-ton annual capacity nitrile rubber facility, was built at the CMPC Lanshu Petrochemical Company. The auxiliary project for the 70,000-ton ethylene program being developed by Lanshu Petrochemical Company is this plant, which will require a total expenditure of 859 million RMB. Utilizing proprietary intellectual property relating to nitrile rubber technology, from storage to chemical polymerization to plaster storage and dry packaging, it is composed of a total of seven production units, three engineering units, and two auxiliary units, with the entire production process utilizing DCS quality control. Shagan Group's Huashing Ironworks successfully forged a 5,860 cubic meter blast furnace, indicating that this world's highest capacity and most technologically advanced number one furnace is now in production. This blast furnace is the king of all blast furnaces and is owned by Shagan Group. This furnace has the potential to attain an annual production capacity of 500,000 tons and a production value of 12 billion RMB. The primary purpose of this furnace is to provide iron melt for the production of 300,000 tons of hot rollers and 200,000 tons of thick plates by the Shagan Group. Number 4. The World's Largest Horizontal Lathe a contract for the world's largest 5-meter horizontal CNC boring lathe was signed in September 2006 between Wuhan Heavy Duty Machine Tool Group and China National Erzong Group. The contract was worth close to 100 million RMB. The 11th 5-year plan prioritized the construction of a horizontal lathe as a key national initiative. It has a total length of 44.5 meters, a width of 8.1 meters, a height of 5.8 meters, a tactical diameter of 5 meters, a tool platform of 4.5 meters, a total cutting power of 350 kilonewtons, the longest processing length of 20 meters, the largest weight bearing capacity of 500 tons, and a power consumption of 284 kilowatts. It is also currently the world's largest heavy-duty horizontal lathe. It weighs a total of 1450 tons, has a tonal length of 8.1 meters, and has a height of 5. In the same breath, the precision of this heavy-duty horizontal lathe is 006 millimeters, which is equivalent to one-tenth of a human hair. Number 3. The world's largest vertical press. Norinco Group made the announcement in Beijing that they had successfully constructed a 36,000-ton ferrous metal vertical press after working on the problem for three years in partnership with Inner Mongolia Northern Heavy Industries Group Co., Tsinghua University, and other research organizations. At the moment, this vertical press for ferrous metals is the largest of its kind in the world. The DHI bridge crane is the largest of its kind in the world. The DCW Group incorporated a bridge crane with a capacity of 20,000 tons. This 20,000-ton bridge crane has a total height of 118 meters, which is equivalent to lifting 250 fully loaded train cars up into a 23-story structure. Additionally, it has a crossbeam that is 129 meters in length and is designed in the form of a double container beam. If this bridge crane were turned on its side, it would take up an area equal in size to a football field to contain it. Number 2. The World's Longest Public Bus Its model number is JMP6250G, and its other name is Youth City Route A380. The length of the vehicle is 25 meters. It has a capacity of more than 300 passengers 
and its length is about equivalent to that of a single railway carriage. Currently, this is the longest public bus that exists anywhere in the world. The turning radius of this vehicle is equivalent to that of a standard bus that is 12 meters long, and it has a total of five entry doors. Because it is built with a unitary body, the carriage and the floor are just two hand lengths from the ground. This allows passengers waiting at bus stops to step easily into the bus, which is of great assistance to the elderly and to those who are physically challenged. Inside the bus, both the walkway and the space between the seats are generously sized, and there is a designated area in the middle of the vehicle for wheelchair passengers. Number 1. The Renaissance EMU Train The China Railway Corporation took the lead in developing the Renaissance EMU train with wholly cell-phoned intellectual property, and it has now met advanced world standards. The Renaissance EMU train is the Chinese name for China's electric multiple unit train. Because the Renaissance ENU train can reach speeds of up to 350 km per hour while in operation, China is quickly becoming the nation with the quickest speed of high-speed rail operations and is taking the lead in world speed. Agriculture in China Super Hybrid Rice on October 15, 2017 A new variety of super hybrid rice called Xiang Lianju 900 was cultivated by a team led by academician Yuan Longping of the Chinese. Academy of Science was checked and accepted in the demonstration base of super hybrid rice of the Hebei Valley Academy of Agricultural Science. This new variety of super hybrid rice was given the name Xiang Lianju 900. This parcel of land produced an average of 1140.902 kilograms of rice per acre and 17.2 tons of rice per hectare, which established a new record for the most rice produced from a single crop anywhere in the world. The C919, a large passenger jet manufactured in China, took off for its maiden voyage at 7.22 a.m. local time on September 28, 2017, departing from Shanghai Pudong International Airport. After a flight that lasted 2 hours and 46 minutes, it successfully landed. The C919 has China's own self-developed intellectual property and paves the way for China to become one of the few countries capable of manufacturing big passenger jets. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us.